how to use DocuSign quick and easy tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get started with DocuSign. So let's get into it. Now, to get started with DocuSign, all you have to do is go on to DocuSign.com and DocuSign is an amazing way to get your e-signature so you can have legally binding documents online and you can sign all of the documents virtually because a lot of businesses now moved online. So there is no purpose in, no, in having to sign stacks and stacks of paper and Instead, using a simple e-signature tool like DocuSign can really help you in solving your day-to-day -day work with with DocuSign. So to get started, all you have to do is click on try for free on the top right over here. And once you do that, you're just going to enter your first name. Last. So once you do that, you're just going to enter all of this information over here. So I'm just going to do that and I'll get back to you guys in a second. So once you have input all of your information and you have verified by your email address, you're going to get started with this dashboard. Now, all you have to do is you're just going to get started. So the first thing you can do is get started with your signature so the thing that you're going to do is on your top right you're going to see this so you're going to click on create signature and you're going to start building your signature so you can choose to add your full name whatever the name when your is going to be and your initials and you can see these certain signatures that you are going to be given you have quite a few different options to pick from and you can click on create over here and this will be a representation for all purposes to use on your financial documents or any other kind of documents and just like that you have chosen in a signature if you don't want to choose a signature you can also click on draw over here and draw your signature as well if you want to draw it yourself that is one way to get started as well so you have quite a few different options available so you can just really draw it however you like and if you're using a ipad or a tablet it's going to be a lot more easier for you to draw your signature if you're using a touchscreen device so i would recommend if you want to draw it yourself then you should do that or you also have the choice to upload your signature so you can choose a photo of your signature just take a photo of your signature and upload it over here and that would be used as your e-signature as well so if i click on draw over here i'm just going to draw my signature just so you guys have an understanding of what a drawn signature is going to look like and this is nothing special i'm just going to give a simple signature over here like this so i've just drawn this signature and i'm now going to draw my initials as well like this and now after that i'm just going to click on create and now these are being created as my signature signatures so uh, now once i have done that i'm going to click on start now so i can click on this and i can begin uploading my documents to start actually uploading my files and signing my documents so i can choose my desktop one box dropbox google drive or OneDrive to begin with adding my documents not only that you can also go back onto so if i go back onto my actual home box so you can see this is my home page i can also click on templates over here and you can create a simple template as a uh, like let's say you have to sign an invoice every time you send it so you can create a simple invoice template over here to have a better uh, platform for you to sign constant documents if you have to constantly sign a document in a simple template then you can just save that template over here so if we go on to our home section and we click on manage so if we click on our home section we have all of our basic like a basic signature setup and if we click on our manage section we have our inbox we have our sent drafts deleted we also have bulk sending and power forms and we also have quick views as well so if you have uh, authentication failed expiring soon waiting for others action required and others as well then you also have a report section where you are able to overview some uh, certain reports and all of your activity with your e-signature and then you have your basic settings as well and then on your top right you have your account settings and your account information so if we go back onto our home page on DocuSign so going back into our manage section I can click on start now to begin my journey with signing any document so if i click on upload files i will just upload a simple document over here uh, and i will just click on upload over here now you can choose to sign it by clicking on i'm a only signer so if you do that this will automatically be signed if not you can click on next and if you have multiple signers so uh, you can add this person needs to sign in person signer receives a copy or needs to view you can choose the permissions for that person as well and we're just going to enter the name and email and you can also customize this and then you can add another recipient and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to enter a name 
And now I'm just going to enter an email and then you're just going to choose if this person needs to sign or not, if they're just a viewer, if they just need to receive a copy. And once you've done that, you can click on next over here and you can add the field where you want them to be. So this will load your forum or whatever you have over here. And then you're just going to choose where you want the sign to be placed. So let's say I want these signs to be placed over here. So let's say I want it to be right over here like this. So you can choose sign one over here and then choose the second sign to be placed over here and this is going to be by Jane Doe and this one is going to be by K and then you can also choose to format it you can choose the date label as well and you have your location as well so this is just a basic way that you can add e-sign to, uh, to your documents obviously this document wasn't supposed to have e-sign that's why there's no specific place for it but you're just going to enter it wherever you feel appropriate then you're just going to click on next you can also choose to add e-signatures or other things as well and then you have review and send so you can send a specific message to the recipients as well and then you're just going to click on send over here and once you've done that this is it so you've sent the first little e-signature document to the people that you need to send it to and now you have one action required which is a simple document that you that i just sent to myself as well so i can just click on sign over here to begin signing this will open up the document that i need to sign so this is just opening up our document that we just created to sign ourselves and to one other person as well. And this will just show you exactly how it's done. So just like that, we have continue over here and you can see the start and then the sign. And just like that, I've signed it and then you can click on finish. And now you can see our sign has been added to the document and it is now a simple and easy process. So this is how simple and easy e-signing document has become. If we take a look at pricing of documents, at the pricing of document sign because it is not a free to use application it starts at ten dollars per month and it is going to charge you 120 dollars annually where you have a single user where you can send documents for e-signature uh, you can set up your five documents for e-signature you can integrate it with google drive dropbox and more and you have a mobile rated application automated reminders and notification plus reusable templates then you have the standard version starting at 25 dollars per month where you can send documents for e-signature uh, and you can send unlimited documents and that is the one that i recommend because if you have a five five document limit in some time in some weeks you might have to cross it sometimes maybe you need to get more documents signed so i recommend the standard version for most people and you can buy up to five users online on the standard version as well plus you can add comments in your documents shared documents you can share templates have team reports in-person signatures and customized branding on your signatures as well then you also have the business pro version starting at 14 dollars per user per month where you also have things like signer attachments, collaborative fields, advanced fields, drawing fields, single click consent, SMS authentication, power forms, bulk sending, and payment collection as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms. And if you have any details that you might want to know, any suggestions, any improvements that you think that I could add on to these videos, then please do leave them in the comment box down below and I will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and i will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video